Welcome to Service Done Right, a podcast dedicated to transforming the service industry. I'm your host, DJ Biersack, and I am joined by Reach CEO and founder, Greg Biersack. DJ, it's great to be with you. Always is. So in this episode, we are going to talk about affordability and everything that went into the structure of Reach, the model, and and why you decided to do what you did in terms of the the pricing and the labor rates and, and everything else. So let's dive into it. Let's talk labor rates. Let's talk about how you designed what they would be for reach, what they would be for our technicians, and what they would be for uh, you know, amongst the industry, how, how you differentiated reach from everybody else. Yeah. Um, so being in the industry for a long time, I saw labor rates continue to grow and grow and grow and grow. And, uh, and I think that that was on the backs of our, of our clients. Right. And when we set up Reach, we said we are going to be a really lean, really efficient company, right? That's what we strive for. Keep things super simple. We're always challenging ourselves to make sure that things are simple, that we can keep our costs as a company down. Because if we're really lean and we keep our costs down, it gives us the chance to be more affordable to our clients. Um, to me, that was personally very important. I think uh, a lot of dentists have pressure because what they can charge a patient is becoming mm-hmm. more and more uh, limited. Right. Um, and their costs for much of their practice continue to rise. And so sensitivity to our clients, sensitivity to what's going on with their financials mm-hmm. was this really important part to me. And so we felt like if we could have a really lean, really efficient company that provides the best level of service, Mm -hmm. but we could be more affordable to our clients, it was something special that we could do for them, keeping their costs under control. And so... That's the reason why everything exists, right? It's not to have some monopoly on service. It's to genuinely help the people that that reach serves without a doubt right and and so we felt like if we were lean and we were efficient Mm -hmm. we could a reward our technicians well right but b we could be more affordable to our clients Mm. and so we're typically about 20 to 25 percent below our competitors and for our clients that means that every single time a reach technician comes out and takes care of them, Mm -hmm. it's usually about a $40 to $50 per hour reduction in what their labor costs would be. And so it's significant, right? Absolutely. Um, We wanted our clients to understand that we're on their side, Mm -hmm. right? All these things that we do, right? That dedicated technician, that preventive maintenance, all those pieces all lead to what can we do to be able to help a client and to eliminate their stress? And it can be really stressful for a client if they feel like this bill is going to be out of control. Right. And for them to know that their their teammate and their technician in reach mm-hmm. is trying to do things that are right for them. To me, that was, was really important. And for us to continually um, challenge how do we control those costs right. so we can stay affordable, right? And in, in, in a world where inflation is creeping up on everything that, right. we're, uh, uh, that we're doing, having that affordability to our clients, keeping those, those costs low was important. I think it, it really is a testament to r- how REACH was designed to maintain that trust. And, and everything you were just saying helps not only a client to feel like the company has their best interest at heart, but that their individual technician, because they are not trying to charge them a crazy bill, but they're genuinely, one, showing up to try and help them, two, really give them the best and the most affordable option, not because they're skimping, but because they understand what's in the office. They're able to give them the best, but also the most affordable because they really know because they have that ownership piece. And we've talked about that in, in, in prior episodes, that it is that feeling of trust, that feeling of ownership where I know that I trust my technician and that on the other side, as a technician, I know this office so I can give them the best recommendation without question. 
so that we have this really symbiotic relationship where we know what's going on in each other's offices, we know what's going on with, you know, with just all of these small things and then the big things like, you know, different equipment and, and, uh, and bigger purchases that whatever it is that they trust that it's going to be what's best for them, whatever's the best option kind of longevity or what's the best option, you know, affordable, those aren't mutually exclusive too. A lot of the times those go together because they have that understanding of the office. I think, I think that that model and that approach is unique and that more people as, to your point, the more that inflation grows and impacts everybody, everybody's going to be a little bit more skeptical of the increased rates or the increased price on things. So if they have that long-term trust that this person's been serving my office for five years, 10 years, whatever it might be, and they know my equipment, regardless of what that price is, there's not that, there's less of this skeptical feeling of, you know, what's going on and is this, is this person really looking out for me? Do they really have my best interest? Am I just shelling out a ton of money because they don't think that I understand? Is that we know each other and we have the opportunity to, to make a good mutual decision together for what's going to be best for my practice as, you know, a, a, a doctor, whoever that might be. Right. Well, I, and yeah, I think that's a, a huge part of this. Um, when you have a company that tends to be inefficient mm -hmm. or where productivity is is lower, y your costs tend to be relative to your production right. tend to be really high and it and it kind of forces an organization to have to charge right. a lot more. Right. And I think that for a dentist looking at this going, what is this organization doing? Mm -hmm to stay lean, to stay efficient, to find the things that they can do to control their costs. I think that's what a dentist should be challenging right. their, their service company right. about because ultimately that spills over into their, into their rates. And, um, and if they don't trust that that company is doing those things, um, I don't know that they're ever gonna see them as a partner, mm -hmm. right? And when that's we went important. into this, that's what we wanted. We wanted those dentists to see us as a partner. And I think that that affordability and that knowledge that the company is doing everything they can to be able to control those costs. There's a thing that we do that's called the red face test, right? And the red face test is where imagine you're sitting across from a client mm -hmm. and that client, um, and you're trying to explain something to that client. So let, let, let's just say your, your rates, right. right? And the ability to be able to, for, for one of our technicians to be able to have that conversation where you're telling that client, here's our rates, here's why our rates, if there is any kind of increase, here's why the increase. Can you do that without getting a red face, <laughs> right? And, and if you can't do it, you gotta step back and ask the question, why, yeah. right? And so, um, for example, um, our most recent increase that we had, well, the last increase we had was in at the beginning of 2019. So we went for, for several years without any increase because we continue to find ways to be more efficient, mm -hmm. right? And inflation has, has grown particularly recently. And we recognize that we need to be able to have a slight increase. And this right. increase that we will have will amount to about a 1% increase a year over the last three years, wow. right? Well, a technician can sit and have a conversation with a doctor about a 1% increase a year over the last three years and pass the red face test. If they had to go to that doctor and describe why the rates went up 15, 20, 25%, I don't know that they could pass the red face test, right? So we're always thinking about that for our technicians. How do they, uh, how do they have those conversations? And so it forces us to have to really think about what's in that doctor's best interest. I think that that being so client centric is one of the most unique parts about everything that you do at Reach. And so thanks for taking the time and, and sharing all that with, with us here today because uh, it's, it's fun to see the progression of that and, and where that can take not only Reach, but the service industry and anybody who's you know, dedicated to a client. Yeah, well, it's a pleasure to be able to share that. We're real proud of our company. We're really proud of, of what we do for our, uh, for our clients and we think it's gonna be an important part of our growth. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Service Done Right. This is a podcast dedicated to transforming the service industry. So we're thankful to be able to share that with you today. 
Uh, we'll see you in an episode soon. I'm your host, DJ Beersack. And this is CEO and founder, Greg Beersack. Thanks, DJ.